Hi, Scott Whitley here, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really simple trick that will allow you to play pinched harmonic style lines like this. Without learning any new techniques whatsoever. With that being said, roll that intro. The trick I'm about to show you, I pinched, see what I did there, from the maestro himself, Victor Wooten. And aside from you and your bass, all you need to do this trick is one of these. A hair tie or a scrunchie. This is maybe a little more camp than necessary, but it does the trick. And all you do is you can buy, you know, any hair bobble, any hair tie, as long as it's got a bit of substance to it, a bit of fluffiness, right? And you just kind of work that over the headstock, over your... Uh, tuners and all the rest of it, leg deers, until it's sat over the neck, okay? And then all you do is you slide it up here, uh, somewhere, say, beyond the, the 12th fret seems ideal, and you basically line it right up on a fret, okay? So that one is the 13th, 14th, 15th, okay? So I'm going to line it right up on there. And then what you do is, you just play notes like this. And you get those really, really cool pinched harmonic effects. Ideally, to really make this technique kick in, you need to use either a distortion pedal or a compressor of some description. Let me show you the difference without the distortion. So you can hear it still works, but it really kind of kicks in and comes into its own once you apply a little bit of distortion. The distortion pedal I'm using is built into the Zoom B1 4, and I'm going to put a link in the description below, so if you want to check that pedal out for yourself, it's really affordable and it's a fantastic pedal. And if you're interested in the settings I use for this video and some more tips and tricks on using this technique, there's a link on the screen now. It's also going to be in the description below and you can drop your email address and I will send you a PDF containing all the information you need. The stuff I was playing there was mainly over a C blue scale with the tie on the 15th fret. So let's mix it up. I'm going to put the tie on the 17th fret here. And I'm just going to randomly try the D blue scale. Let's see how that sounds. Pretty cool. Let's try the G major scale. Let's see what happens there. B flat major scale. <laughs> very, very cool. One thing that's really important when you're doing this technique is you gotta make sure that the hair tie is right over the fret. So if you're going for the 12th fret, for example, you make sure that the actual elastic is right over that 12th fret. Let's try some slap in A minor. Let's give it a go, never tried this. I think it's a really, really fun and cool trick, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it too. And don't forget, if you'd like to find out what settings I use to produce this video, click on the link on the screen now. It's in the description below, and you can enter your email address, and I will send you a PDF with all the information you require. Thanks so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you get notified whenever I make a new video. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.